Uh, it's a wonderful thing about this town. I had an idea of uh, trying to be supportive of the work of two of my Latin American friends who are artists and just starting on their careers here. And I thought, well, with any luck, somehow we'll figure out how to be able to fund this. Um, and while there was a little bit to throw in the pot, there was a lot more that needed to come. And the amazing thing, which is so typical of this town, this place where many of us call home, this place where many of us have come to be a part of this community, the amazing thing is I never had to ask for anything. All of a sudden, the Kent Cultural Alliance showed up in the person of John Schrottweiser who said, oh, I hear there's a mural going up. We'd like to support that. Next came um, the downtown uh, Chestertown and the Arts and Entertainment District saying, hey, we have a grant. We'd like you to apply for it. And then, uh, much to my amazing surprise, the Social Action Committee for Racial Justice called me up and said, we have funds left from the mural that we did on High Street. We'd like to help you. So, um, and then there were a couple of friends, Rob and Deb Glebe, who were out there somewhere, and then two other friends who were anonymous who just showed up one day at the shop and said, um, we hear you, you're doing a mural here. Here's, here's something for, to help with that. So, um, to all of you, uh, and I should also thank the landlord. Um, I had to thank the landlord for saying, I said, I have this idea, let me hang it on your piece of property. So uh, thank you to the Flanagan family also for uh, letting us do that. All right, watch out, I got a stage and a microphone. <laughs> Holy cow, I haven't seen this many people since Christmas of 2019. <laughs> Welcome out. Um, hey, John, shall we do a, like a countdown, like a five? Yeah, you wanna do a countdown? Yeah, Are you go. ready? Oh, okay, I don't get to talk. We're just gonna unveil this thing, ready? He's, he's so smart. <laughs> Five, four, three, dos, uno, vista! Almost, come on, you can do it, come on! So in 1904, when the first piece of public art was unveiled in Chestertown, that would be the fountain in Fountain Park. It was a hand-me-down from a town in Kentucky or Tennessee or something like that. They painted it up, it looked really pretty. They were getting all ready to do this big unveiling. And there was a huge commotion on High Street. The first car to drive through Chestertown. Totally upstaged the unveiling of the fountain at Fountain Park. Thank you, Lucia Foster, for that story at Chestertown Attic, the Prince Theater Summer Camp, 2006. Um, um, this is what we can do when we work together, right? Uh, Amen. And we work together, and we come together with artists who, as we all know, we've got some pretty extraordinary artists right here in Chestertown and all across Kent County. We come together with a fantastic artist, Freddie Granillo. I want to say thank you to everybody. After COVID, it's really great to see all these people here. And, and for me, it's really amazing all you guys are here because you want to see the mural. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to say thank you to Bob Ortiz. He's, he's the guy who inspired all this, so please. And then all the people that he already mentioned support the, the, the project. So before everything, I want to introduce two of the kids that are, are in the mural in this, uh, in, in this size. Paul, I think he's, he's around here. Paul, come can up. you come? Woo! And then Camilo. Woo So this is Paul, his dad, you know that his, da his dad is a, an activist in Chestertown. He's organizing the uh, African-American community and helping to improve 
all, all around the community. And so I decide Paul is going to to be in that mural because we need a, a, a local kid that represent all these powerful moment for that community. So please, uh, this is Paul. We like it. We like it. Oh. And this is Camilo, this is my son. He was born in El Salvador and he came here when he was two. And his mom is from Chester, and you know Rosie Ramsey. And uh, I'm and so Camilo is bilingual, he speaks Spanish and English, and he was born in El Salvador, but now he's living in Chestertown. So I, I, I thought he was another good candidate to be in this middle, because you know, migration, you have all these kids that they were born here or in their countries, and they are speaking English and Spanish. So it's another generation of kids that we need to understand too. So that's the reason Camilo is here. Mm -hmm. So thank you, you guys. Thank you. And I can talk more about the kids because I can, I think there's an amazing story. And the last one, her name is Natalia. She's living in New York. She came to this country when he was when she was two, illegally with with her mom. And and his dad was my friend. Is my friend. And he came to this country this year, like two months ago. And finally they are together, Natalia and his dad are together, living together in New York. So when my friend called me and said, I am in New York with my daughter, I, I was like, I think I need to New York and take a picture of Natalia. <laughs> so I went to New York and take the picture and I decided to, she needs to be in this mural too. So three amazing kids. And then we have the background, which is like a Latin American village. And when I was painting it, I was like, okay, I need to do something that represents Latin America, not just El Salvador, my country. So when I started to do the, the lines and some people came into the shop and say, oh, this is a community in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And next day, another person came, oh, this is Colombia. Mm -hmm. This is Chile. So I went, okay, I think I, I, I did it well. <laughs> so yeah, this is, you know, it's a classical village in, in, in my country, but also you can see other countries in there improvising in, uh, architecture, colors, uh, many materials, and all of them in a hill in the city. And the idea of doing the, the, the bottom white and black is because I was trying to represent the past. And the other part with color is the future.